Thank you, Ranking Member Buck, and thank you, Chairman Cicilline and uh, Chairman Nadler, for your tremendous leadership. And to all of my bipartisan colleagues who are here today, this is a big moment, I think, for many of us. Um, I'm proud to be the Vice Chair of the Antitrust Subcommittee, but also someone who represents a congressional district that has long been a global pioneer, innovator, and leader in technology. Before I talk about our historic, necessary, and bipartisan legislation, I just want to remind you of three moments that help set the stage for this particular bill that I am introducing. First, July 16, 2019, I asked Amazon's Associate General Counsel about the tech giant's use of third-party seller data to create products that compete with sellers on their platform. Under oath, he said, we do not use any of that specific seller data in creating our own private brand products to compete with businesses on Amazon's platform. But nearly a year later, the Wall Street Journal published an investigation that showed that to be a lie. Amazon has been using data from its own independent sellers, small businesses across America, to launch competing products. In fact, a former Amazon employee told our committee that it was, quote, a candy shop where everyone can have access to anything they want. When it comes to using seller data, and in July, I asked Jeff Bezos about this anti-competitive practice, and he did not deny it. That brings me to a second moment, which occurred on the same day. I expressed to Sundar Pichai the deep urgency we feel to protect independent journalism. We already knew that Google makes most of its revenue by selling advertising. But what became clear is that the tech giant has total control of the ad market. Put another way, Google is running the marketplace while also acting on the buy side and the sell side all at the same time. That's not only a major conflict of interest, it's also a monopolistic practice with no regulation. It hurts the free press, it hurts small businesses, and it hurts competition. And that takes us to Facebook. Beyond asking about the tech giant's practice of copying, acquiring, and killing rivals, I asked about the work that Facebook is doing to address the hate speech on its platform. Zuckerberg essentially said the company is too big to care. What was clear then is at the heart of today's legislation, these unregulated tech giants have become too big to care and too powerful to even put people over profits. So now this is the moment where in a bipartisan way we are introducing legislation that allows Congress to regulate these marketplaces so no companies have a platform so dominant that they are monopolies. Not only is self-regulation by big tech patently ineffective, it also comes at the direct expense of consumers, small businesses, local communities, the free press, and workers. So the Ending Platform Monopolies Act is a structural solution to a structural problem. It eliminates the conflicts of interest that arise from a dominant platform's ownership and reach across multiple business lines. And it ends a dominant platform's ability to leverage its control to disadvantage competition. It makes it unlawful for a dominant online platform to simultaneously own another line of business when that dual ownership creates a conflict of interest. And it requires dominant platforms to divest lines of business where the platform's gatekeeper power allows it to favor its own services or disadvantage rivals. I am so excited that we have this moment to reassert the power of Congress with landmark bipartisan bills to rein in anti-competitive behavior, prevent monopolistic practices, and restore fairness and competition all while leveling the playing field and allowing innovation to thrive. And now, I believe I'm turning it over to Lance. Mr. Owens. Oh, Mr. Owens. Okay. Okay, we switched it. Mr. Owens. Thank you. Thank you. 